What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm bringing you the very first perfect jailbroken setup video since iOS 9 has been jailbroken. So of course, if you guys wanna see more of these type of videos with a whole bunch of different setups, then be sure to smack that like button to let me know you guys wanna turn this into a series. All right, so here on our lock screen, we have uh, basically a widget right down here at the bottom that's going to give us our time. So it's 2.26 in the morning. So I'm recording this pretty early this morning. Hopefully you guys will see this in a, a few hours. But right up here at the top, I'm also using Priority Hub. So this is actually going to allow me to manage my notifications. So you'll notice with Priority Hub, if you haven't used it before, that you can hide or show your notifications right up here. Now, if you have multiple notifications from multiple applications, then that app icon is gonna be right up here. So if you got a text message, then your text message icon is gonna be right here and you can tap on that one instead of TweetBot and it's going to show you notifications for messages. So it's really nice and organized and it helps you keep your uh, messages or notifications in order in a really clean way. Now you'll also notice that I don't have anything else other than this widget as well as Priority Hub on this uh, lock screen right here. And I'm gonna be tapping this on and off so it doesn't uh, dim the lock screen. So bear with me for a second. But you'll also notice that we don't have a status bar, we don't have a clock, we don't have slide to unlock, we don't have the camera grabber. And that is all due to Hide Me X for iOS 9. So if you wanna use that and you wanna hide all this good stuff, then definitely do that with Hide Me X. Now if I clear those notifications, you can see right here that I have this nice glitchy looking uh, Roman statue wallpaper for my lock screen. I think it looks really cool. And if you guys wanna check it out yourself, then I'll put a link on Twitter and you guys can download it and use it yourself. Now, if we unlock the device, we're gonna be using the same widget that I used uh, on the lock screen as well, just right there, just because I am hiding, again, the status bar due to Hide Me X. And we also don't have any pages whatsoever. So this is like a zero page setup or a one page setup, however you guys wanna look at it. The only applications that I have here are in the dock, and these are my most used applications. So I have my phone, messages, Tweetbot, Safari, and mail. So those are just gonna be a tap away. Every other application is going to be a swipe and either one or two taps away. So what I have here installed is called Insta Launcher. So I've set my activator gesture to basically just allow me to swipe up and it's going to launch Insta Launcher. And this is going to have every single application installed on your device right here at your fingertips. So you have your favorite section, which is obviously customizable and you can put whatever applications that you want to here. And you actually put quite a few applications here if you want to, but usually the applications that I'm opening up are going to be in my favorites tab. But if they're not, then you can just tap on the alphabetical uh, order right over here. So if I wanted to go into messages, I would just tap on M and then here's my messages. So I would tap on messages and it would launch messages. So pretty self-explanatory how this works. I think it looks really good and it looks really good with the whole black and white theme that I have going on here. Now, if you wanna get out of it, you would just tap over here, it would close out of it. Now, another reason that I love Insta Launcher is you can use it in conjunction with either Spring to Mize or Hide Me X, and you can hide those icons like I've done here, and you can hide unthemed icons, and you can still access those really quickly. So you and I both know that when you download a theme, you could have a really awesome theme, but you could still have like 10 or 15 icons that aren't themed and just really ruin the look of what you're going for. So now you can just hide them with Hide Me X or you can hide them with Spring to Mize, and then you can install Insta Launcher and still have those accessible right here. So for instance, I'm sure I have at least, okay, so you can see right there, there's a feedback icon that wouldn't look good if it was on my springboard and I had all my icons there. So it's just gonna be hidden right here into Insta Launcher. The next thing we have going on here is the control center. So for the control center, I'm using uh, Hide Me X in order to round those corners. Uh, on the top of the control center. And I'm also using Hide Me X in order to change the color. So I've kind of darkened uh, the control center from what you normally would see, just because the darker looks a little bit better with this setup. And I'm also using Glyph CC, which is the theme for your control center uh, using glyphs right here. So I'm using those and I'm also using the square buttons, which is also a setup. I believe it was within uh, Hide Me X. So now let's go ahead and go into messages and we'll go ahead and open that up. And you can see right here, if I open this up, that we have a different looking keyboard. This is actually due to nude keys. I just think this looks really clean, really minimalistic. There's no extra buttons or anything like that. There's no lines 
to uh, accentuate the keys. It's just straight up flat and it looks really good. Now I'm also using Messages Customizer Pro in conjunction with Eclipse in order to get this really dark look. So if we go into our settings as well, which is just a swipe up and a tap away, you'll see that this is all really dark as well and this is due to Eclipse 3 that you can see right there. And within my settings, I'm actually using the Muse 2 theme for my settings. So just scrolling through here just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. I did install CC Clean and CC Loader, but I really didn't use either one of them. You can actually hide sections, which is what I've done here in my uh, control center using Hide Me X. But you can install CC Clean as well. It basically does uh, the same thing. So I've hidden my media controls, so it just looks a little bit cleaner. And then if I'm actually playing music, then it's conditional and it's going to actually show up all my media controls right here. So let's go ahead and swipe this down. Uh, I also have System Apero, or however you say that. Basically what this does is you can change or customize the dim when you swipe this up. So you can see that I'm actually using a darker dim right up here as I swipe up my control center. So that's all that that does. So if you wanna download that, that's a free tweak as well. Uh, let's go back into settings. And as we go down, I actually do have color banners installed so when you get a banner, like even on uh, your notifications on Priority Hub, it's actually going to use, if you're using this theme, a gray look just because it's actually going to take the primary color of the app icon and use that as the banner color. Now as we go down here, Lock HTML4 is what I'm using for my widget. So you would just tap on Select Widget. This is the IX widget. And you're actually going to have to uh, customize the size yourself so you'll change the pixels and you'll just something you're going to have to kind of tinker with and uh, you also have to change the location of it because it's probably going to put it right up there in the top left hand corner but then you can just put in you know your x and y axis and it does it all uh, right there as you tap on it so if i tap on this right here you can see that you can reset uh, your coordinates and everything like that so i'm just going to cancel this and then tap done but if we go back here, you can scroll down here some, tap on advanced, and this is where you're going to set your widget coordinate. So this is where it's going to be on your lock screen. So I have mine set up at 450 uh, for the Y axis and 15 for the X axis, and this is on a six. So if you have a different size phone, like a six plus or a six S plus or a four inch phone, then you're gonna probably have to change this up if you want it in a uh, similar location. But if we jump out of lock HTML and we swing back down here to Messages Customizer Pro, you can see that I have it enabled. I'm using the dark primary theme. And this actually had used to have a lot more options. I don't guess it does anymore. You used to be able to change a lot more different things, if I'm remembering correctly. But right now, all I really have is enabled, and then I have primary dark theme. And then I come down here to compatibility, and then make sure that Eclipse is uh, toggled on here so you have compatibility with Eclipse because obviously I have Eclipse installed. And we come down here, nude keys, I just toggle that on for dark keyboard, that's it. And then coming down here to Priority Hub, if we tap on that, you can set this up however you want to. You can actually change where the apps show up, either at the top or the bottom. I have them set up at the top, but you can kind of tinker around with that. It's pretty self-explanatory. And you also have watch notifications. So this is actually going to give you that different look uh, for your notifications. So let's go ahead and toggle that off. That's my uh, do not disturb and then send a test notification. You can see exactly what that looks like. This is the watch notification and you can see that that color banner right there, uh, that gray look is what you're getting. Now this actually changed because I messed with it just a second ago. So it looks a little bit different. But then we also have winter board just to show you guys how I set that up. You can see right here that I have CJ glyphs right there. Then I have glyphs below that and then the Glyphs CC, and then I just have basically the Muse UI, Muse settings, and Muse essentials. So if I got rid of these Glyphs, or if I toggled them off, then the entire uh, setup would turn to Muse, but really all you really need to toggle on is Muse settings. If you want it set up like me, you don't have to use the Muse UI or the Muse essentials. But that's basically it. I do want to give a huge shout out to the Reddit user Once Upon a Dude because he is the guy that basically thought up this uh, whole setup. I did tweak it uh, in a couple of places here and there, but if you guys want to check out his actual setup, uh, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check it out for yourself. All right, guys, again, if you guys want to see more perfect jailbroken setup videos, then be sure to hit that like button to let me know you guys want more of this. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.